Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1731, Count Visible with Substring. Hey, welcome back. Now I have uh, our own channels at YouTube and when someone posts a question that shows up in an email, All right? So an email from Felix showed up and said, hey, how do you set a formula to count the visible cells within a particular string? Say all the words with the letter E. And I said, well, that's really funny. He said visible. I'm sure he didn't really mean visible. And so my episode 1728 this week showed how to count all of the cells that contain a letter E. But then I actually went and looked at the video. Oh, he was posted that on count visible rows. He really was looking for just the visible. And I knew, I knew we were in trouble because I immediately thought, well, okay, subtotal uh, aggregate. Aggregate is going to be the uh, the one that we want to use, but I remember that aggregate uh, doesn't allow an array until you get up to functions, I think it's 14 and above, is that right? I didn't pull the book out this morning to look, but uh, that's almost what I remember uh, you saying. So, you know, here's a count of all those cells, here's the count A of the visible cells, and it's funny, aggregate is ignoring hidden rows, not hidden columns, uh, uh, but then to try and do that to match uh, everything with the letter ES uh, up here in the formula bar, well, it's just not going to allow that array um, since we're using function 3 and function 3 is count A. So I'm like, oh wow, okay, I'm going to have to switch over and do some VBA to solve this. Alt F11 uh, to insert module and then typed out this module. Uh, CVM stands for count visible match. I could have called it count visible match, but I figured that would be evil to make uh, Felix have to type equal count visible match. Uh, open parenthesis what we're looking for and then uh, pass the range that we want to look through. Uh, initialize the function CVM to be equal to zero because whatever values in the variable CVM at the end gets passed back to the worksheet. So we look through each cell in the range. Uh, instead of using find or count if that I used back in episode 1728, use the VBA function in string INSDR, start in position one, look for the lowercase of cell dot value, uh, look through the lowercase of cell dot value for the lowercase of find what that'll return in position. If it's greater than zero, uh, then we know that we have a match. And if that's true, check and see if the cell's entire row is not hidden, check and see if the cell's entire column is not hidden. If all three of those are true, then CVM is equal to CVM plus 1. Why don't I use an AND here? Uh, well, because I figure it's going to be rare that we find a match and I only want to check for the hidden row and hidden column on the 11 that are matching instead of all 500 cells. Uh, so, here's our function CVM, we'll switch back to uh, Excel and uh, equal CVM and we are looking for uh, ES comma in A2 to T26, press enter and it's giving us the 6, giving us the 6 uh, because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's actually 11 uh, using the formula from uh, 1728 but I've hidden some of those rows and some of those columns. Well, hey, there you have it, I want to thank you for sending that question in. Episode 1728 and 1731 finally got the uh, meaning of his question. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.